What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going over something pretty special because I wasn't sure if we were going to get something for this. As you guys all probably know, to this year, 2020, marks the 40th anniversary for Friday the 13th, which is why this lawsuit is so painful because this could be a time where the franchise is peaking, but here we are not being able to get anything, which is why I didn't think this was going to happen. But despite all things... Friday the 13th is getting a 40th anniversary Steelbook release, and it actually looks pretty cool. If you saw the last Steelbook that was released for the OG Friday the 13th, it wasn't good. It was stupid, Jason was on the cover, the art was kind of weak, and it just didn't make any sense. It was like, hey, you don't actually know Friday the 13th at all. You put Jason on a cover that Jason's not even in the movie. But, hey, now we got a good one. We got an OG look here. We got the original poster on there, and then the really cool quote on the back. I mean, I think it looks pretty nice. So, overall, it looks decent, but I do have some major issues with it. One, there's nothing different about it. There's nothing special here. No cool new behind-the-scenes features, etc., etc. My biggest gripe with it, my biggest issue, it's not in 4K. Why not have a 4K release? Now's the time. 40th anniversary 4K release would have been great. But here we are, still sticking with our regular 1080p edition which we've already had before. So, if you already had the movie and you're not a big collector, this obviously isn't for you. There's no point in rebuying the movie. You're not getting anything new, new with it. No new special features, no new commentaries, nothing like that. And you're not getting a 4K jump. So, basically, this is for people like me and probably a lot of you that just collect Friday the 13th things because we love it so much and we have completion issues. That's what us horror fans do. We waste money on shit we don't need. And this is definitely one of those things that I'm going to waste money on that I definitely don't need. But I'm excited for it. comes out on May 5th of this year. 40th anniversary edition. And it's only 15 bucks. I will say that. That's nice. They could have easily dropped 30 bucks in this thing. And we still would have bought it because that's what we do. But this one's only 15 bucks, And I appreciate that. I also totally know that right now there's like a good half of you that are like, Hey, how are they able to release this with the lawsuit? Why can't they release game content? Where are the NECA figures? Here's the thing, man. When it comes to this lawsuit, Horror Rink is not legally being binded to not release things. Not legally being binded. What Horror Rink is doing is intentionally not releasing things so that they look better in their case versus Victor Miller. I mean, basically, imagine it this way. You're in, a, you're in a lawsuit here where you're trying to keep as much money as you possibly can and show that Victor Miller has gotten a fair cut that whole time. So, in order to do that... You make it look like you're not making nearly as much money as you truly are by no longer releasing game content, by no longer releasing NECA figures. It makes you look better in that trial, and that's all they're trying to really do. But uh, at least they were kind enough to do a 40th anniversary release for us and let the Steelbook slide by, despite it being kind of a lazy release. It's better than nothing. You know, I thought we were going to get nothing, so I'll take this. At least we get a little something for the 40th anniversary of Friday the 13th. Could have been a movie. Could have been, you know, a new movie, but that's that's fine. We'll work with it. Hey, let me know your thoughts and comments below. Are you going to scoop up this Friday the 13th Steelbook? Again, I know I'm going to waste my money on it, so why not? But that's going to wrap today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And, of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.